Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of February 14th through to the 20th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aries. First up, we have Major Arcana Justice in the upright, followed then by the Page of Swords in the upright. Next, we have the Seven of Pentacles upright. And next, we have the Five of Wands reversed. And ace of wands in the upright so for your overall energy aries you have the libra energy justice in the upright situation justice can pop up for many reasons obviously if you're involved with the judicial system in any way this can represent maybe a judgment coming down this week perhaps your week is dominated by this justice situation if you've been involved with um arbitrator or something like that and you're waiting for that decision to come down. It could come down this week. It could be a very fair decision. Sometimes this can represent um, poetic justice as well. And it can also come up when we're in a situation, say at work, where things have maybe been unfair, unbalanced, what have you, even in a relationship where things have lost their balance, it could be returning again. This is just basically all always about sort of like that, um, Equality, basically, where everything seems fair now and equal. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Page of Swords in the upright position. It is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is Air Energy, G uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. We do see a Libra energy here. Perhaps you are getting some news or information, could be from or about a Libra. Maybe you see that there is some poetic justice going on in that situation for others of you. This could be about small increments of information coming through. Sometimes the Page of Swords is known as that sort of uh, stalker energy. It could be where somebody is sort of checking into your, um, you know, your Facebook and your social media and stuff like that, where they're kind of spying on you. And energies can go both ways. Maybe it's you checking up on someone else and looking to see what's going on. Uh, sometimes the Page of Swords does make sense. If you're applying for something, it could represent someone looking into... Uh, your affairs where, you know, they're doing a background check if you just, you know, are applying for a job or something like that. Sometimes the page of source can offer some information, news and information, but it's just little increments of information. They don't usually know the full story. I always equate this energy to someone going around the water cooler, you know, sort of... Um, you know, spreading some rumors or information. It's like, did you hear the company is planning on doing this and that? But you always need to go and get more information when it comes to the Page of Swords because sometimes the information they're offering is only little increments of the story or it's not the full story or it could be representing gossip too. And it's paired up here with the Seven of Pentacles in the upright position. Seven of Pentacles represents... Um, reevaluating something, taking a closer look at it. It could be, uh, I always say reevaluating is very healthy. It's when we're taking a look at a situation. It could be something that's been going on for seven weeks, seven years, seven months, and we're just sort of reevaluating it. It's good, whether it comes to a relationship, whether it comes to, um, even our finances, sometimes it's good to take a look at your portfolio and see, uh, you know, what's your, what's going on there. Because sometimes even though, say, our finances were great, invested in a certain thing, and uh, it's been going well for a long time, but take a look at it because maybe... You know, you need to make some adjustments and, and change things up and bring it to another, uh, you know, uh, update, basically, because just because stocks did well seven months ago, right, it doesn't mean that they're still going to continue to do so. so. So it could be something like that for others of you. It could be reevaluating your situation, whether it be real estate or something you've invested in, or it could be a relationship you've invested a lot of time in. You're just looking to see, does this still make sense to me? <clears throat> So take what applies to your situation. <clears throat> it could be a job or a career, or what have you, where you're just sort of taking it, you know, putting a spotlight on it, uh, shining the flashlight on the situation to see if this still makes sense. It's very, like I said, it's very healthy and it can be a good thing to do 
whatever the situation is. <laughs> Moving forward, we do have the Five of Wands in the reverse position, indicating coming out of um, uh, drama, definitely. The Five of Wands in the upright position is that he said, she said, I don't care for this energy because it usually comes about in the full moon, which the full moon is last week. And you know, this is where everybody starts, you know, jibber jabbering, especially with this page of swords being here. It can put people, you know, into a state of panic or, you know, pit people against each other. But when the card is inverted, this is coming out of that. So this is moving towards the weekend when the uh, full moon's now behind us. We're, we're already uh, letting go of that drama, letting go of what could have been started, like, by someone at the beginning of the week. So... Just be careful on that. There could be some gossip about. There could be, you know, much ado about nothing where it's just, you know, stuff being spread. Uh, also, too, the Five of Wands in reverse can point to competition is over if you were in a competitive field, perhaps um, applying for jobs or even competitive with relationships. It could be competing on the romantic front. Well, the competition is over. This can point back to the... Um, four of wands in the upright with which is a energy of victory so for those of you who are competing for a job situation or something like that it could be that you know or even a a, a judicial situation maybe in court it could be that it's you know rules in your favor and the last card you have is the ace of wands in the upright position well this is moving right into the weekend this could be where there's a new beginning in terms of a spark uh, sometimes this could be something that comes out of the anti-cosmos where it's like what a great new uh, um, passion that I have sometimes it can represent passion coming back into a relationship or a situation even with our career sometimes we can lose passion for it when it's in the reverse but you have it in the upright which indicates it could be passion returning into your relationship into your work situation sometimes the ace of wands can represent a sudden uh opportunity or ability to take travel you know go somewhere that kind of thing it can be a passionate new relationship starting up for some of you who are single and looking you know this is valentine's week so something cool could be happening on that front um so that's what i have for you i really hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you next week bye bye for now